Hello guys, new video. This time we will be speaking about CryptoSteel Capsule, new product from the creators of the original CryptoSteel. Uh, and yeah, tune in for more. So this package came in mail yesterday to me. That's pretty huge package. Uh, I opened it, everything will be in this video. I'm showing uh, how to set it up. But uh, first, let's start some comparison about the crypto capsule. Why, uh, like, first of all, why would you even use something like that? So the previous evolution of uh, crypto steel uh, crypto steel cassette like something like that uh, basically called your 20, 12 to 24 mnemonic seed uh, so mnemonic seed is the seed saved in a format of 24 uh, words it can be created in different languages so english japanese uh, like in Spanish, <laughs> Italian or whatever. Uh, like I created the whole video about how to code uh, Beef39 uh, mnemonic in Python. It's one video be before this one. Uh, so if you guys are interested, let's look into that. Uh, but this mnemonic is basically a way of uh, saving your uh, your seed, your your like uh, hexadecimal sentence uh, for devices like Ledger, uh, Cold Card, uh, Trezor, or two generations of beatboxes uh, to store this seed in a way that is human readable. That's why we have 24 words. 12 to 24 depends on what uh, what's the wallet uh, application, uh, but usually it's 24. So producers like Crypto Steel are creating the the product for 24 or less, of course. Uh, so you can store your your seed, you can store your your mnemonic uh, in these devices. And previously having this Crypto Steel, it was pretty bulky. It was like heavy, uh, weird shape, like it's flat, but it's pretty like uh, rectangular like what to do with with things like that uh, I have two versions of it uh, like the crypto steel and bill Fodel. those are two different manufacturers of the same project because crypto steel open sourced everything so uh, they basically created some sort of a Kickstarter that they created the project and after that they open sourced it for the world so kudos to crypto steel and bill Fodel, bill Fodel basically did the same thing but cheaper. <laughs> so I've got on the screen, I've got comparison of the prices. So Crypto Steel uh, cassette, that original one, costs about uh, 140 US dollars. Bill Fodel, the same thing basically with, with different branding, 80 dollars. Uh, but Crypto Steel cassette, this small cylindrical, uh, cylindrical uh, device is uh, cost basically much uh, less than original Crypto Steel, cost about eighty dollars, so the same as Bill Fodel. And in my opinion, it's it's a bit better. I will explain later why. Uh, I also compared the prices of uh, three other type of uh, uh, of backups, uh, hardware backups, uh, Crypto Keystack, uh, Crypto Tag, and Block Plate. Uh, they are all devices in which you've got like the steel plate and you're punching in the either the, the, the letters or just the, the dots uh, to show like uh, what kind of word is it. It's non uh, reusable, so it's only like for limited use. You can do it once on the steel plate and after that, if you want to change your seed or something like that, uh, you can just throw it away and buy a new one. So that that isn't too too uh, too nice for my application. I'm living in the downtown of Vancouver, and I don't want to like punch in uh, the uh, 24 words. The neighbors wouldn't be so happy about that. So if I would live uh, on like some farm or like more in the village-like environment, that would be great. 
but I'm living in downtown Vancouver, so I can't really do that. Uh, so yeah, uh, also you can you have to buy like uh, a MOLED, you have to buy some like this letter, punching letter sets or like the puncher for the dots. Uh, I just don't want to invest into things like that. So uh, I really like the crypto steel idea because it's reusable. Uh, how does it look inside? I already uh, assembled one version. So here we've got 24 words divided by this uh, uh, by this uh, division, uh, how to say it, plates maybe, <laughs> and at the end we've got this specific pin. Uh, I'm showing everything uh, in the form of B-roll in this video, so you guys should see what's, what I'm even speaking about. So uh, why do I like it more than crypto steel? Yeah, the, the dimensions, it's cylindrical, so you can fit it into many places. and. I speak about many, many places. I was thinking about some dark places where you can fit it in. And yeah, you basically like, it's like the uh, the, the diameter is about the, the size of my thumb. So you guys know where can you like put your thumb in. I like, never mind. <laughs> Uh, but going back to, to dimensions, uh, the dimensions are much better. It's uh, basically the same height uh, on like the thickness diameter is a bit uh, like three times the, the crypto steel thickness, but it's cylindrical. So as I said, you can fit it into many places and it does even have this this hole. So uh, crypto still created great uh, advertisement video for this uh, crypto steel ca uh, capsule, and the guy is wearing it on his uh, on his neck, and he's like, uh, he's pretty like packed, and yeah, he's yeah he. I would like to look like this guy, uh, but never, <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can even like wear it on your neck but why why would you do that uh, that's only for like advertisement purposes of course and you shouldn't wear your mnemonic seat even if you really love your Bitcoin um, but there is one case where you can do that uh, recently Trezor came up with the sharding uh, based on uh, Shamir uh, key split so you can basically split your seed into different shards and uh, they have a threshold. So under the threshold, like M of N, you can't really uh, guess the, the seed, even if you want to brute force it, it's like the uh, cryptographical way of doing that. It's based on polynomials. So I will throw the new video about that soon because it's very complicated. Uh, in my opinion, at least, <laughs> it's a very complicated uh, idea on how to really do that on the back end. Uh, but yeah, you can you can do that and share your uh, shards with other people or just store other shards, and then you can wear one of these. But then you will be still some sort of a, a victim, and you are doing like making yourself a victim. So why would you like to do that? You should really like store these seeds or even the shards of the Shamir split uh, in secure places because this is the intention of, of having these seeds, like store them in secure and uh, like very secure and remote places. That would be the best idea. Uh, so yeah, uh, few words about how to use it. Uh, so basically everything is in this in this box uh, there is an instruction I would say very simple one like few steps what to do how to open it how to close it how to assemble the the words uh, basically the words are the tiles similar to to the crypto steel ones crypto steel cassette ones of course uh, and you basically are putting them on some kind of shaft so the first step if you've got the the the, the seed uh, i will create a seed for myself and i'm showing it on the screen right now and i will show the process on how to uh, how to assemble the the, the cassette uh, so you've got this seed uh, i only took like 20, 12 words by the way because i don't want to 
do this video for 40 minutes and yeah just take these words uh, and start assembling them on the flat surface like the table or something like that uh, like one by one so word by word uh, when it comes to BIP39 seeds you can store like you have to store only four first letters of the word uh, because the four first letters are always unique so for every word in this uh, in this uh, dictionary of words for bip39 mnemonic every word is different after like fourth uh, fourth uh, uh, letter so you only have to store four letters of every word uh, which i'm doing on this video uh, so Assemble the words uh, four letters each. I probably made a few mistakes because that was my first uh, first interaction with this uh, with this crypto steel cassette. So I mistakenly taken Q as O and things like that. Uh, I would say that's like I made mistakes and I don't think that's that's the uh, the problem that uh, crypto steel did on their side. That's I'm stupid and I wanted to do this video very fast. Uh, so I assembled few of these words uh, on the table. I didn't even probably assemble them all for the purpose of this video. Uh, and obviously I started like uh, putting them on this shaft. Uh, so four words and the separator, four words, separator, four words, separator, etc. So uh, that's basically the process for, for doing so. And if you want to read it, you are basically starting from the beginning of the shaft. So you you read like like you put it on the on the shaft. So starting from the first first word uh, up to the, the last one. And yeah, that's that's pretty easy process, I would say. Uh, like putting these uh, these tiles into into cassette was a bit easier than into uh, sorry into capsule was a bit easier than into cassette. Uh, this uh, these rails in the in the cassette are really really hard to to like put it uh, parallel to the to the to the slide and that was hard. But if you've got the shaft and just putting things on the shaft, it's much easier. So <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's basically uh, a new step in storing your your mnemonic and I really like that. Uh, also, I've got a few, few comments about it, uh, so at the end you have to add this kind of pin uh, so your words won't slip out this shaft, that's, that's basic. So I'm showing right now how to add this pin, you basically uh, have to make it like, uh, like bend it in 90, 90 degrees first put it on the shaft and then bent it more to, to block this, uh, this shaft, like this, uh, these tiles from moving out of your shaft. Jesus Christ, this video will be so perverted. <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, after, after you're done, if you want to change your seat to the new one, just uh, like do opposite. So just take this pin out and remove all your, all your uh, tiles and add the new ones. But if you want to read it, don't remove the, the, the pin. Uh, read it when the pin is still there because maybe some of these tiles will slip and you will lose your seat, so please don't do that. Uh, please be as secure as you want with your seat. Also, uh, I assembled my, my words very like hastily. I, I wanted to do this video so much. Uh, and it wasn't real seat, so I didn't have, like, I have no money there on this account. Uh, but if you guys will be assembling it by yourself, like, double check it, double check your double check, and double check your double check of double check, this is what I'm doing usually, so just do a triple check. If you've got somebody that you really trust, let them like look at the words and look at what you read on the paper uh, to compare it and then uh, assemble it and then double check if you assembled it correctly because maybe you change your word direction and it still <laughs> it still won't work so so please be be careful about uh, what your guys are doing with your seed uh, it's like 
if you lose your seed, you can't recover your account in most cases, so please be as secure as you can. Uh, more comments about this capsule. I put it into water for like 10 hours because previously I was mechanical engineer and I know if you've got the, the threaded connection like here, it has some tolerances for it to like move around. And usually if you have threaded connection, uh, like if the tolerances aren't great, so if you like can can move it like that, that usually means the water can slip it slip in after some time. So I just wanted like water probably wouldn't even harm these tiles. They are like from stainless steel, but I just wanted to know if like I put it into water, will it be wet after like few hours of laying in the water? Uh, and it wasn't so yeah the, the tolerances are very good in this in this thread and I really like that so uh, that's definitely a, a plus for uh, for the crypto steel uh, creators uh, what's more um, it's uh, like the crypto steel cassette it's much heavier like I created the, the comparison it's like at, I think it was about three times heavier than than the uh, than the capsule. So on the weight side, it's much better. Uh, I don't know how good it is in like the fire or in some sort of situation where you've got a big load or, or something is, is is trying to to like pierce it like in some scenarios that your your house is basically uh, being demolished or something like that. Like if my house in the middle of downtown will be demolished, I would never find it anyway. So. I don't even care about this scenario, but some some people do, uh, and yeah, I don't, I, I haven't tested it uh, in into uh, this uh, uh, these hard conditions, but I know it's better for like everyday like everyday use because you're not using your seed and mnemonic uh, uh, backup every day but it's better for like casual use and it's cheaper so it's almost two times cheaper than, than the cassette so uh, i would say that's a win-win situation and so uh, this one i get for free i got for free from crypto steel and thank you guys for for sending me the uh, the media sample uh, but i will probably buy more <laughs> like seriously i really like the design and uh, like the, the the machining of it, the the, the cylinder is uh, you've got this this nice connection. Like I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like ah, I, I like I like things like that. So it makes me so happy to to have it, and it makes nice noises and what whatever. I'm weird. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm just I'm just weird. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I like it so much. Uh, if you guys are interested in buying one, the link is in the description. Uh, I've got one affiliate link. If you guys are really interested in that and want to buy it, please buy it from, from my link if I helped you with, uh, with anything regarding this video. Uh, but anyways, that's all for this video. Please let me know what you think about the crypto steel capsule in the comment section. Uh, do you like it more than, uh, than traditional crypto steel cassette? And would you buy it or you would rather use like the paper uh, paper wallet or things like that, paper, paper backup? Uh, so please write these comments in the comment section. I can't wait to, to read them. Uh, hope you hope I helped you in this video because that's why I'm doing them. Uh, if you are interested about like how to program the BIP39 in Python, it's in my previous video. I will link it here on the screen so you guys can check it. Uh, and I think that's it. So see you in the next video. Bye.